This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Last year at Gen Con, I kind of picked this game up on a whim. And the funny thing was there was so much hype over Warhammer Champions that this game kind of got overlooked. I really think it got overlooked. And it hasn't been since recently that I pulled this out and I decided to give this a bit of a go. And it's actually really, really good. I like it. As a matter of fact, uh... I play by myself even though it's a two-player game. It's really a lot of fun. I try to screw myself over. What game am I playing? Well, Warhammer Doomseeker. It's a card game. Yes, it came out the same time as Champions, and I think it got lost in the shuffle. But you could be a dwarf, a, a slayer, I mean, you know how crazy they are, and really just go at it and have quite a good time. Well, before we go any further, let's go down to the table, and I'm going to explain a little bit of it, and you make a decision on it. Let's go down to the table and check it out. Okay, down on the table here you see uh, a really nice board, which caught me off guard when I, when I had to put it all together. Now, these are fake cards, okay? And what these are going to do, influence fake cards, you're going to get five each for each Slayer. And you're actually playing against each other, believe it or not. So we'll deal out five to this guy and and one, two, three, four, five here. Now I'm not gonna explain all the rules. These are gonna change certain properties. So say our friend here was our first player. On the bottom here, this is how much strength he adds whenever he rolls against one of the dooms. Now the dooms are here. The funny thing about the dooms are is you're gonna make a deck of dooms. Now for a two-player game, you have eleven um uh, level one four level two and then two uh level three which are nasty and it, the more players the more dooms you're going to add but these dooms are basically yeah creatures i mean look at this i mean look at the art on that too on top of it okay so what you have to do is you have to beat that number so uh for instance if we were to fight that particular guy and let's just leave him up here anyways this is a five you already start with a two okay so what you're going to do is you say well i'm going to fight that particular guy and i have to roll on a six-sided die better than uh, a five so minus the two already all you need is a three or better well maybe there's a card in here that might help you and might be able to um if if a slayer defeats a doom let's see what do we have no 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 Oh, here we go. Uh, slay the Brotherhood. Draw one fake card. The Slayer gains plus one strength. If the Slayer defeats the Doom, he must give you two of the gold that he earns. Ooh, okay. So you could play this on another player. Um, but I have nothing really that will help me in this card. But he may have something that can hinder me. And that's something. If a Slayer defeats the doom you score gold so you may play this and draw one fate card and then play this and say hey this is what's going to happen if you defeat that boon I'm gonna gain an extra gold now what does gold do for you it allows you to buy weapons that are gonna make you more powerful because as you go down this deck there are more powerful creatures in here so we need a three Ah, we got it. We got it. So we were able to kill this guy. This guy will go in this pile and he will count as a renown. Now, because we killed him, we would get one gold. But he also played a card where because I, he, I killed him, he gets one gold. Now, there are ways that if you fail, you're going to take some damage. And, and that is the bad part of this, okay? If you ever lose your life, what happens is the game in a two-player game, the game is over. But if you're playing a four-player game, what's going to happen is you're you can't you can't take a turn or fight any more dooms. You only have the renown you have, but you do have the ability to play fake cards that may help you or hinder somebody else or end the game even faster. 
So that's pretty much how this all plays out. There's always going to be treasure. Every time you buy a treasure, you're going to replace a treasure. Every time you defeat a boon, you're going to take that dune, and then you're going to replace it with another dune. But there's also quest cards. Yes, of course. These here, you're going to hand out, and you are going to have one of these. And it has a secret mission that you are going to try to um, complete. So at the end of the game, you're going to add any effects that you were able to contribute to this particular, to this. Count up your renown. Whoever has the most renown, guess what? Wins the game. Um, very old school feel, and I really like how this goes. So I think I pretty much gave you everything that we needed to know, and there's only one thing to do. That's to send it up top and uh, basically get on out of here. There you have it. I think this is pretty cool i mean plain and simple it's a pretty good game the components are nice the cards are beautiful it, it gives you that old uh you know warhammer feeling that i so crave and um this is actually a very good game and it's out there and it's probably cheap and discounted because it got overlooked hey go get this I don't think you're going to be disappointed about this. And and to my little friends out there, Charlie's kids out in Japan, Charlie, translate this. Tell them Rob said, this is good. They would like this. And they all can play it at the same time. And it's a lot of fun. And you can play with them. So do that. Rob says it's good. It is good. I think they'll like it. And I think you can get it really, really cheap. And, and I think you're getting a steal for this. A really good overlooked game warhammer doom seeker go check it out till next time it's your old pal rob we'll see you soon